The police have often been seen to trample on people's rights, especially when breaking up riots and demonstrations. In June 2008, Parliament set up a special committee to investigate police brutality after two MPs, Nabila Sempala and Susan Nampija, were roughed up by police officers. International organizations are now training the police as the country heads into election time, where a lot of civil unrest is expected. But Police Chief Major General Kale Kaihula says the institution has been accused unfairly since it uses more dialogue than force to prevent and stop violence. People talk about tear gas, but 90% of conflict situations that I have managed, I have managed them through dialogue. There are a lot of situations which could have erupted, and the major one was between the, the Muslim faction, between Mubaji and Chiburi. When they were, in fact, soon after elections, they were threatening to go on the streets. Kaihula says violence has erupted only in cases where there was miscommunication. He calls on international human rights bodies and opposition leaders to approach police with suggestions on how to make it work better instead of criticizing the force endlessly. Citing FDC leader Dr. Chiza Besije, Kaihula asked him to stop despising the police. I want Honorable Dr. Besije to come here. Instead of throwing miseries at us, let's, let's discuss what's, what's the problem. He can tell us where we are wrong. And obviously we shall tell him why he's wrong. And many times he's wrong. Because he, he despises the police. He calls us a regime police. Oh God. Local activists and Human Rights Watch have accused the police of brutality and using excessive force against unarmed civilians when curbing riots and dispersing crowds. The most recent was during the September 2009 clashes between security agencies and Mengo loyalists, which left over 20 people dead. During the training, the German ambassador urged police to respond proportionately while making the protection of unarmed civilians a priority. Anna Kunda, NTV 11.